So hello friends, uh, this is the beginning of a series of tutorials which introduce Euler Mass Toolbox, uh, the mighty program for numerical and algebraic uh, mathematics. Well, uh, this is the homepage of Euler Mass Toolbox. It's currently on one of my servers. Uh, you can read the documentation here and maybe you want to read the features of Euler Mass Toolbox. And here is a short overview. Euler Mass Toolbox is in uh, its core a, a notebook interface to several programs. One of them is the Euler Core, which features a programming language and numerical algorithms. Maxima, which is a uh, algebraic program, very mature, very good. Uh, LaTeX for formulas, uh, browser input output, an external editor to program in Euler Mass Toolbox, some libraries like uh, optimization libraries and everything else you might find, Pobray for photorealistic graphics, and uh, Python and C for Python and C programming. If you need a Python system 2.7 and uh, you, there is a tiny C compiler which lets you program short functions in C. But it's also possible to program in the Euler core language. Well, I will introduce every detail of this program by and by, I try to do my best to speak English. I'm not a native speaker, obviously, but I hope you can understand me and uh, everything is uh, nicely explained. To download Euler, you go to the download and uh, currently the download is located on the SourceForge page. So here is Euler Mass Toolbox. It's an open source program and thus it is part of uh, SourceForge. And uh, we are now at the files section and you can just simply download the installer. The installer, choose the most recent one uh, or the source if you want. So let's uh, select the most recent installer that would be from November this year and there are updates all the time the size is approximately 105 megabytes and you simply install that and you get icons to start it so if you did so you will have uh, a way to start icon to start Euler and it will appear like this approximately so it has two windows. One is the uh, notebook window, one is the graphics window. You can hide the second window by pressing Ctrl G and uh, you can still see it by pressing the top key. So now the graphics would be inside the text window. The first thing you should probably do is to get an overview of uh, this mighty program by opening a tutorial or an example. So this is installed together with the Euler program and this is not my development PC. I have here an installation of Euler. It's a 64-bit Windows program and it installs in the uh, program folder as usual. So open the crash course in Euler and uh, read through that. This is a notebook interface. It has headings, it has comments. Uh, it has even links and it has commands like this one. This would be an Euler command, or at, to be precise, three Euler commands in one line. It sets a variable, computes two things, and, uh, and uh, outputs these, uh, the results of the computations. And there's also an infinite integer arithmetic and it can compute uh, integrals and uh, differentiate uh, algebraically. It can plot, Euler can plot these things. Uh, let me define that and uh, plot it. 
Now the plot is actually in the graphics window. So if you press Ctrl G, you get a separate graphics window and you can see the plot here. But uh, due to the uh, double point here, it is also inserted in the notebook window. And you can export this notebook window into uh, HTML form and the plots will be included. Yeah, what else uh, should I show you in this uh, first introduction? You can solve expressions and uh, there is a matrix language which is similar to MATLAB but not identical. But it works almost like MATLAB and there are numerical algorithms for uh, linear algebra and so on optimization. If you look into the available uh, tutorials, you are asked if you save this. I don't save it. You see uh, there are demos like uh, demo on interest rates, Monte Carlo simulation or plots. And uh, you can uh, have a special notebook on Euler Mass Toolbox for schools. Uh, the syntax of Euler is explained in much detail in this, uh, in this demo. The matrix language, 2D, 3D graphics, power brain, oil, everything. Input optimization, for instance, would be the optimization notebook uh, with linear optimization and nonlinear optimization. So, this would be your first uh, target to load these files. And, well, I will go through all of them maybe in later videos. For the first start, let me just show you how to uh, set, start a new notebook and from this empty page enter some commands like simple arithmetic commands and you will get a 12 digit output internally 16 digits the IEEE standard. This is the numerical part and you can also compute sine and cosine internally with uh, radians, but you can enter degrees like this. And uh, for instance, the exponential function and everything. If you want help, the easiest way currently is just to double click and you get a help window, which explains x and all the functions which are there. There are some examples here. And you can click on any of these items to go to the explanation for uh, other functions like the logarithm to base 10, the decadic logarithm. You can also search something like logarithm and you will find, you get search results on all functions which contain the logarithm. Logarithmic plots, for instance, this would be interesting because this is a uh, an overview of plots. Let's go to the home page. If you have an empty line here, you get uh, lots of topics which you can also read instead of the uh, tutorials to find your way through Euler. For instance, installation, the notebooks, the menu graphics, the keyboard, uh, how to enter comments, the comment syntax, and calculus. Let's Double click on calculus and on derivatives and we get some examples. Yeah, this is how uh, the Euler help window works. You can also open the browser from here. And you are in uh, a list, alphabetic list of uh, functions in Euler. Let's go to the determinant and this explains how to use the determinant in Euler. Well. You could also, uh, let's go to the Euler start page. This is installed, obviously. This documentation is installed along with Euler. And you can go to tutorials here and let's go to the crash course in Euler. I would like to hear in the comments what features of Euler are especially attractive to you and why you use it and what you expect from Euler and also what you expect from these uh, videos. Uh, I need user feedback uh, to help me 
deliver the best videos and the most useful videos possible. Otherwise, I will just uh, do what I think is necessary. But it's much more convenient to hear from you what you need. So thank you for watching this video and see you later in the next video.